Okay, here's the deal, everybody. I'm about to tell you something that most YouTubers and even online articles on the internet are probably not going to tell you. And that's because here on this channel, I'd like to give you guys reasonable, straightforward, no-nonsense type of advice when it comes to gardening. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about grow lights for your seedlings and vegetables that you're starting downstairs in your basement and the efficacy of all kinds of Amazon grow lights or cheap grow lights and whether or not they can actually grow your seedlings. If you're new to our channel, I like to use very straightforward, practical advice for you guys in the garden. Because when it comes to gardening, let's face it, there's millions of tips and tricks that you could use in your garden to make your vegetables grow better. But in all reality, it's a lot more simple than that. And the same thing goes towards these grow lights for sure. This is no exception to that rule. Let's simplify these grow lights for you and I'll tell you what's gonna work and what's not gonna work. First off, I'm gonna highlight this Vesita 600 watt grow light that we just got. This is an incredible light. It works so well on these seedlings. I have absolutely no issue with it. It's dimmable. It came with adjustable mounts. Very happy. Aogreen. This is another grow light that I got. This has a veg and bloom setting on the side. This one I think is a thousand watt grow light. Again, no issues whatsoever. Great grow light. And then up here we have a grassy land thousand watt grow light. And then this is a bloom plus grow light. I believe this is a 1500 or a thousand watt. Uh, the model is a 1500, but I think it's actually what they would call a thousand watt LED grow lights. But even though these things actually only draw about 150 watts of power at the most, this is the highest quality light that we have here. It works great. The grassy land works great. This one works great. This Fasita 600 Aokrian works great. Down here, we've got even more LED grow lights. One of them, the LED diode went out. So that's a bad thing, but I've had that thing for about two and a half or three years. Um, all of these grow lights, no matter what the quality, have worked great. So I'm gonna tell you guys what to look for when buying a grow light and if it will grow your seedlings downstairs in your basement or wherever you are growing your seedlings. I'm gonna tell you what to look for. The first thing that we're gonna talk about is the reviews. Do not trust the good reviews on there. If you're looking at a grow light on Amazon, chances are that they're paying for those reviews. So they're gonna be overly exuberant, five-star great reviews. So what you wanna look for if you're looking at a grow light is the bad reviews. How many bad reviews are there on lights going out, diodes failing, overheating, whatever it might be, look for the bad reviews, not the good ones. The next thing is going to be the power. You wanna get a LED grow light that it's listed as at least 600 watts. No, this is not drawing 600 watts, but that's a whole topic for another video. But either way, you wanna get an LED that's listed 600 watts and up. 600 watts work great, 1,000 watt LEDs work great. 1,500, you're getting a little bit too high. So I think 600 to 1,000 is really the sweet spot. And this is usually where a lot of people start to get technical. What about the micromoles? What about the, the PPFD? What about all of these stats and the grow lights and what do they mean? They're so confusing. Uh, some companies don't even list them and so on and so forth. But really, like I said, I have gone through a couple of dozen grow lights, testing them out, then giving them over to friends that are in need of them. And I have never had a single problem with growing seedlings like this downstairs. Now, maybe if you're growing a very high intensity flowering plant like cannabis or hemp, like that, then you might be looking towards something that is way more specific than these grow lights. But if for you guys, the gardeners that are growing their veggies downstairs, it really doesn't matter. Those things are not gonna matter when growing your seedlings for the most part. Unless you're buying like a $30 grow light, that's not gonna be an issue. So stay 600 watts to 1000 watts and then stay in the price range of around 60 to $200. You really don't need anything more expensive 
than $200 at the very max. But all of these cheaper $60 to $75 dollar watt or dollar grow lights that I've tested in the past have also worked out fine. So don't overcomplicate it. Simplify the entire process. Just get a grow light that's in your budget. And get out there and grow. Happy gardening. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully we'll see you in the next episode.